write us a scary horror about a man who woke up at night. He went out to the balcony to smoke and suddenly saw something that changed his life. In my childhood, grandmother said that if you suddenly woke up in the middle of the night, it means that you were awakened by a ghost. Why am I remembering this now? It's three in the morning, the day was lousy, sleep in one eye. I crawled out onto the balcony and lit a cigarette. The smoke burned in lungs. Good. A silhouette flickers in the window of the house opposite. Another poor fellow with insomnia. Suddenly, the guy in the window starts waving his arms and yelling. Psycho, right? I listened intently. Don't turn around! I swallowed nervously. I felt someone's presence behind. Palms got wet. Crap. Took a breath and turned around. And... No one near. This idiot was joking. I cursed and decided to go to sleep. I went into the room and saw myself peacefully snoring in bed. I got up and went out to the balcony. Lit a cigarette. Can't sleep too, huh? There was a man on the balcony next to mine. He struck a match and handed it to me. The face is kind but unfamiliar. At that moment, the balcony crunched and disappeared from under my feet. I flew down. Someone was yelling and I woke up in bed. Nerves to hell, I took a cigarette and froze in front of the balcony. Idiot, it's just a dream. Stepped in and exhaled. Struck a match and at that moment the house shook. Concrete slabs cracked plaintively, dust rose. I grabbed the railing. That's it. This is the end. When the dust settled, I saw that only the wall and this damn balcony remained from my house. I like to smoke on a balcony at night. Quiet, calm. And now I stood there and caught snowflakes with my tongue. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Some little traveler passes below, waving a package, and freezes in front of my balcony. He looks intently, smiles predatorily, and suddenly he takes a head out of the bag. Oh lord! I run as fast as I could to the phone, the doorbell rings sharply, and I freeze in horror, trembling. I got to the door, look to the peephole and see the face of a girl. She looks awful. What do you need? The girl is silent and does not blink. I don't dare to open, just keep staring intensely through the peephole. Suddenly, the face moves away, and I see that this is the guy from the street, holding the head by the hair opposite the peephole. Get out of my sight, you damn brat! The mother grabbed Sabrina by the arm and pushed her out to the balcony. She locked the door behind her and went back to the guests. The girl shivered in cold and did not understand why her mother was so cruel to her. Only the late grandmother loved Sabrina, but she has been gone for a long time. She went to heaven. Sabrina took out her stashed cigarette and lit it to keep herself warm. A star twinkled directly above her. Oh star, dear star, make sure that I do not suffer anymore. The star blinked and rolled across the sky, increasing in size. Fulfill my wish, let them all die. And shooting star grew rapidly, turning into a falling asteroid. Sergio walked in the bathroom for the third hour and don't care that it's already late at night. Everything must be finished by morning. Damn, I'm tired like a beast. He tiredly whipped his forehead, smearing a brown spot on his face. We need to take a break. Sergio went out to the balcony and lit a cigarette. 
He loved his work. He did quality work with integrity. Suddenly, his eyes fell on a car parked in front of the house. Whose dad came here? The owner of the house got out of the car. Sergio's hands trembled. His temples throbbed. Horror spread through the body. What the hell? Then who did I botch her for three hours? He choked out harshly, dropping the rusty soul from his hands. Sergio, how long will we have to wait for you? Ominously came from the bathroom. The night was surprisingly clear. I stood on the balcony, smoked and enjoyed the silence. A fresh breeze tussled the hair, lifted head and looked up at the sky. Billions of stars were watching me. At such moments you think about eternity. Suddenly one star flashed and went out. It happened, but a second later another pair went out. And all of a sudden they started to disappear, one by one. As if someone turned off the starry sky. What's happening? I recalled, unable to tear myself away from the nightmarish sight. A moment later, not a single star remained in the sky. Solid, unpenetrable blackness. The moon went out last. It can't be that the earth, too. I didn't have time to finish. Everything around was plugged into the darkness. I couldn't sleep. Wife was snoring next to me. I went out to the balcony to smoke. The quiet February night smelled of the last frost. Glanced at the Christmas tree in the corner, wrapped in black film. My wife still convinced me to take it out of the house. Suddenly, something moved under the polythenin. What the heck? Someone, tied with a thin wire, wreathed trying to get out. I screamed in surprise, but in a moment came to sense, grabbed a black bundle and rolled over the fence. It flew 13 floors and smashed on the sidewalk. With a beating heart, I returned to the apartment. Mary, can you imagine what happened now? And suddenly, I noticed a Christmas tree in a corner. It stood as before, shimmering with multicolored lights of girlands. Mary, I looked at the bed. It was empty. I couldn't sleep, so left the room to smoke on the balcony. Once again, I looked at the hospital yard. Next came Mrs. Berkeley, an old lady in her 80s. They let me go, she said happily, lighting a cigarette from mine. Congratulations, I muttered, though I was actually terribly jealous. Okay, I'll go get ready, she threw the cigarette down. I stood a little longer and returned to the room sat down in a chair and stared at the TV. Nearby, on the bed, lay my body in coma, and it wouldn't let me back. Mrs. Berkeley was chilling in the bed next to her. Her jaw dropped. The heart rate monitor next to her bed showed a straight line. There is the justice here. She's only been here a couple of months, and I've been here for three years. Day 42nd At night I went out to smoke on a balcony. I love abandoned houses, but this abandoned mansion far from civilization was special. Suddenly I noticed a faint light of flashlights on the approach. More stalkers, crap. No, no, don't go here! They began to look around, looking for where the sound was coming from, but it was too late. I heard a lingering rattle from below and black numble shadow crossed the yard. Quicker, get up, it's afraid of heights! I did not make it in time. Something finished with the stalkers and dragged them into the basement, where my friends opened the damn crypt 42 days ago. I threw away a cigarette butt and went to bed. The main thing is not to go down, it is afraid of heights. Day 43rd Looked through the feed, naked butts only. Screw it, third hour of the night, 
how to sleep. I grabbed for the remote control. Okay, let's see what they show in the zombie box. Earthquakes become more frequent in Japan. Boring, another channel. A strange object has been discovered in Earth orbit. Why do I care? Hysteria in Washington. Locals claim that the house has disappeared from the busy street. Bullshit. I took a cigarette and went out to the balcony. Unusually cold today. I opened the window. The airflow nearly knocked me out of my feet. What the hell? I made an effort to look down. The earth was rapidly receding. The streets where the house stood was getting smaller. We flew into outer space. Let us know which story you liked the most in the comments down below. And also send us new themes for 100 word stories. Don't forget to subscribe and click the thumb button.